Hello fashion sellers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to put bias binding onto seams. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is a sewing project that I'm working on at the moment and this is a bias binding that is enclosing a seam. So that's how the seam is and I want to get rid of that raw edge. One method of doing that is using a bias binding Here I have a sample of a plain seam, an open seam, that I've pressed open and it's the raw edge of the seam that I'm going to cover. I've got my bias binding, that's the right side and that's the wrong side. As you can see it is folded, so it's a double fold. And I'm going to place the fold, the raw edge of the seam against the ribbon, the bias I should say. And I'm going to leave it about a couple of millimetres above the seam edge. And I'll explain to you why in a moment. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in. Well, more than a couple of pins. Because I want to make sure that stays in place. And it is literally a couple of millimetres above the edge of the seam. hope you can see that and then I'm going to continue. I'm now at my sewing machine and the crease line is a line in which I am going to do my row of stitching so I should have a beautiful straight line. Put my feet down, put the stitches forward, reverse and I pull my pins out as I go along. Remember I'm stitching in the crease line of the actual bias binding. line that will help you to get a really nice straight row of stitching. I'm coming to the end now and I'm reverse. Okay, okay. And the next thing you need to do is then get your bias and fold it away from the center of the actual seam. You can actually press this away but I'm just going to turn it, if I just show you how I'm going to do it this way, just click away, I'm going to turn it over covering the actual raw edge. Now you should have a couple of millimeters behind the actual first row of line of stitching on the underside and that is where you're going to stitch very very close to the bias binding so I'm going to put a few pins in there and I'll come back to you and show you how it's done. Now as you can see I'm using black thread so you can actually see this I've stitched a row of stitching on the actual crease line of the bias binding all the way down and then I went over to my iron and I pressed it away from the centre of the seam and then you're going to be turning it over and then you're going to be covering the stitch that you've just made and putting a couple of pins into place. Now that should be nice and straight and even and what will happen is next you're going to stitch so close to the actual bias binding that you'll be stitching millimetres away on the actual wrong side. So I'm going to take that over to my sewing machine and show you how that is done. Okay, I'm now at my sewing machine and I'm putting my foot down. Now remember, this is the side of the bias binding that is actually stitched down. The wrong side is actually still open and this is what I'm going to secure by doing the second row of stitching. So I'm going to get it as close as I possibly can to my um, bias binding. I've done and um, obviously when you're using the thread it'll be matching the colour scheme of your sewing project and you just want to make sure you get it as close but don't stitch onto the actual bias because you want it to have that neat professional look and I'm sure when I showed you my sewing project I just did you actually shouldn't see any of the second row of stitching. Oh, I think I've caught it there. 
Achtung. Okay. Now if I can just show you how close that actually is. And then I'm going to turn it over and that is what it should look like on the reverse side. So you've got a nice, neat, professional looking, beautiful finish um, by a seam on the right side. And on the wrong side you will see the second row of stitching. Now giving you a close up shot here, this is the right side of the actual seam and my, it's now bias binded. And you should be able to, or not, if it's a matching thread to your sewing fabric, see the uh, row of second stitching. And that second stitching will so show on the wrong side, as you can see here. And that's what you actually need when you do beautiful seamed bias binding. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful and it's a great way to give a professional finish to seams. I'll see you next time.